So, we all know that the Cosmic Shake, the Cosmic Shuffle, the Cosmic Dance is a spiritual successor to Balfour Key Bottom and Balfour Key Bottom Rehydrated. I don't know, I mean, it's the same thing. Firstly, because it's made by the company that made Balfour Key Bottom Rehydrated, and also because that is now their most successful game and all that type of stuff. So, saying it's a spiritual successor is a good decision on a advertising standpoint. But it's basically like a sequel type of thing. It's that type of situation. It's a spiritual successor. But when I first watched the trailer, and I'm not sure how many other people experienced this, my immediate reaction was firstly, as soon as I saw the globs, I was like, oh no, it's globs, globs of doom. It's back, which is a quite a good game. It's better than the other Nicktoons games, surprisingly. It's quite good, bit weird. I saw someone commenting about that and like, oh, I wonder if we'll see Jimmy Neutron come No, we, we will not. But, but my brain immediately left Battle Game Bottom, left the movie game, all that type of stuff, and went immediately to Creature from the Krusty Krab. So here is my reasons for thinking that this is not in name, and maybe not in design purposes, but in a way, a possible spiritual successor to a very good SpongeBob game that is often kind of ignored because it's not heavy iron and kind of released a bit later and yeah. So, firstly, I really like Creature from the Coast Crab. I think it's a pretty good game. I love the style of it. And we spoke. I spoke a little bit uh, about this with Who Needs Normal in the previous video, which you can check out. Bah! No, I did, did the wrong side. Bah, there we go. <laughs> Click there. Or in the end cards. And we chatted about, briefly, there, one of the things that people have loved about the game is how unique it is and how crazy it is and how much of an individual experience it is. It's like no other Spongebob game. And I think the reason for that, the reason why we were so vocal about that was because those were during the days of the Activision games, which were so stock standard and so bland and so boring. Like they were just the most quintessential Spongebob-y type of experience. And so for us, looking back, it's like, man, we were getting stuff like Creature from the Krusty Krab, like complete acts of just creativity that went far on beyond from anything the show had done. And just like, that was really cool. That was some awesome stuff. And it, that, the, the fact was that that remained kind of true even after we got Rehydrated because Rehydrated was in a lot of ways a safe bet, an easy move. I mean, people had spent years campaigning for this game to come back. Of course, it was going to do well. And it's probably the most SpongeBobby of SpongeBob 3D platformers. But then there's Creature from the Crusty Crab. And with this new one, Cosmic Shake, it's definitely pushing in that type of DNA, in that type of direction. Much, firstly, a much weirder first like trailer. The original first trailer we got for Rehydrated was, firstly, that was the teaser trailer was quite boring. But after that, the other trailers were very, stock standards, like here's the gameplay, here's this, here's that type of stuff. They were very stock standard. This one, CGI, way more crazy, different situations, characters in different roles and acting differently, major effects to the world going on, like with the uh, Wish Worlds and all that type of stuff, Dreamlands, all that type of stuff. You're seeing so much more creativity poured into just about everything, even the way of showing this stuff in the way the trailer was put together and just like the way the trailer was edited and all that type of stuff. It's definitely not leaning towards that whole horror B-movie tone of uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab. It's leaning more into like a cheapo sci-fi type of tone, which I also really like. I think that's really cool. And it's just giving me such Creature from the Krusty Krab vibes. And I reckon Creature from the Krusty Krab has some problems with the fact that it has so many different types of gameplay styles. I reckon uh, Cosmic Shuffle can do something a lot better with that in the fact that it looks like we'll probably just be playing Spongebob, maybe Sandy, doesn't look like we're playing Patrick, definitely looks like they're shrinking down, all that type of stuff. We might have surfing, because I saw like there was a surfboard multiple times in the trailer, so there might be some types of deviation from gameplay, but focusing just on the world and the creativity of the world could be a way cooler way of doing that type of thing. And I just think that's a really awesome direction from them to go in. That's one of the reasons why I really like Purple Lamp. Uh, before you could, we didn't have much to go on. Most of our basis for why we liked Purple Lamp was just how much they answered people on Twitter and all that type of stuff. But it's really cool to see them being so creative and being so innovative with just this game. And no, I know we're basing this all off of a CGI trailer. And 
yeah, there's, there's always going to be people saying, oh, we don't actually know anything about the game yet. That's 100% true. But this is the first leg that they've put forward about this game. This is the first thing they've expressed about the game. And that first step, that first signal speaks a lot. It speaks a lot to the style of development, the company itself, and the direction of the game. And so you can you can read a lot into the first step and first showing of a game. You can't read into how good it's going to be. We don't know how good it will actually be. To make any jumps about that is a bit of a different thing, considering Rehydrated was pretty rough around the edges. So a lot of things are going to have to be fixed and changed and all that and evolved, which we've um, also yeah, again, made a video about. Yeah, I did the right side. So yeah, most important thing, keep your expectations measured. But I just, want, I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to chat about it because it's a really interesting direction for them to, to be going in, which is kind of further away from the safety net. It's further away from Stocks Dance SpongeBob, and that's really cool in my eyes. Because I've been pushing for just a new game for quite a while now, and I'm really glad we're getting it, and I'm really glad the fact that we're getting a really different new game as well. And something that possibly for people in 10 years to look back in the same way that we look back on Creature from the Krusty Krab, of like, that is a really unique game, and that was a really unique time. And I think that's quite exciting for us to be currently living through that and have the ability to experience that firsthand. And I think that's quite interesting. Anyway, check out my community post from a few days ago. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm doing a video of Riders very soon, where we'll go through all of them and chat about all that type of stuff. So put your comment down there if you want to be in the video. Anyway, bye-bye. Mwah. Subscribe, god damn it, or else I'll keep threatening you. Yeah. Mwah. Right, thanks, bye.